it's your girl Ashley if you're new to my channel what's up today I did a holiday makeup inspired look hence the red dress it is the holiday season that means you got dates that means you got family that means you got holiday parties I hope you got something going on girl if not take yourself out now I went ahead and used the constellation sky morphe palette so this is what it looks like in case that you don't have it I did go ahead and do another video where I played with some other beautiful colors but today we're sticking with the neutrals okay so I did use this palette so if you have it take it out and let's play I already went ahead and put some concealer on my eyes I used this concealer right here this is the elf camel concealer in the shade light beige since I'm gonna be wearing a red dress I want to play with the neutral colors so I'm using this morphe m433 brush El que está beat up. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna grab this color here called bummy dude I almost slapped my face with this palette just pff, it's huge but we're gonna grab bummy I'm just gonna apply this right on the crease I am so sorry if I go out of focus because of the mirror, like I'm holding this this mirror here. <laughs> so I'm sorry if it goes out of focus. But we're just going to focus this again on the crease going back and forth. Making sure that most of the color stays more in the center. And then slowly bringing it more inward as well as outward. And you're just going to keep doing this until you like the way that it looks. So like this is how much it looks like right now. I know it doesn't even look complete, but I'm grabbing a little bit more and focusing it again on the crease going back and forth so just keep doing this until you like the way that it looks i don't know who hurt one of my neighbors because they're blasting en tu perra vida. i think it's grupo firme but um maybe his wife cheated i don't i don't know chisme está good huh pero aquí estamos maquillando anyways now with this morphe m433 okay this is the good one this is the good m433 brush compared to my old and beloved which i still love to use m433 look at the difference one is way more fluffier <laughs> i just kind of go okay because it still performs pretty well but i know that i know that needs to go bye bye okay but now this one doesn't have anything on it i'm going to use that to buff out and diffuse the color that we applied there, which is Bummy. I'm sorry if you guys can hear all these background noises. I'm sorry. I don't live alone. But very lightly diffuses until you like the way that it looks. Now with this JH34 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called Deep. hard because this palette is huge dude but this one right here we're gonna use this as our transition color so right above where we had applied bummy and then now there's gonna be a beautiful transition from that very like chocolatey brown to a more settled brown you know what I'm saying we're melting these colors together I know it looks like somebody socked me in the eye right now I get it but just trust the process that's all it's about trusting the process. Apparently, I guess I wasn't recording, so I do apologize. But what I did is I applied some eyeshadow on my brow bone just because I don't like it to be like concealer and then no eyeshadow. So I did apply this baby right here, which is like a nude beige. It's called like Uyo, Oyo. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I just used this JH31 and I just went over my brow bone just like so. Back with the M433 brush. I'm sorry if you hear whistling. My brother's taking a shower and every single time he showers, he just performs. So you guys get a free performance. Hey! <laughs> so with the M433 brush and the color Bummy, I'm going to go back and I'm going to apply this on on the outer part of the eye creating that V shape so connecting the crease with the outer part of the eye you're gonna get that smokiness so just keep building it until you like the way that it looks try not to not to get to like crazy and like extend it out because it'll be so hard to blend aside from that to clean it so just be careful with your placement just let the brush do its work now for the fun part just kidding this is actually the most crucial part it is cutting the crease kind of not really we're cleaning up the eyelid so again with the same camel concealer ooh, extra why you falling camel concealer in the color light beige and using this a morphe m224 concealer brush i have some in the back of my hand that i'm grabbing and we're gonna go in town and clean up the eyelid area. That way it is nice and prepared for when we apply the shimmer shade. It's gonna go on very nicely. 
sorry if you can hear the airplane. Apparently, everybody's just trying to make, make an appearance today, and obviously, my disability of not being able to talk is coming out to play as well. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger to blend out the edges. That way, they're not so harsh. Whatever is left on your M433 of that bummy color, we're just going to very lightly go over the crease, just like so. With the same M433 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called Crescent, I believe. It's like a reddish brown, but it has a shimmer. And we are going to focus that on the outer part of the eye, still creating that smokiness. So I'm marrying that chocolate bummy color with the Crescent one. And keep adding until you like the way that it looks. With a flat eyeshadow brush like this one, any kind of flat brush will do. I'm going to grab this color here called Light Year. And I'm going to apply this where I have that concealer. I actually expected it to look more brighter. It's not doing it for me, at least with this brush. And I just applied it, but I thought it was going to be like, bam, like here I am. So I'm going to use my finger, my ring finger, because look at the difference between how it looks like on my finger and what is applied right now. It looks chunky. It just doesn't, it's not doing it for me. So let me see if it applies. Oh my God. Already I can see a difference. It applies so much better with your finger than what it does with the brush. I am loving the way that that applied. It looks so much better. But now I'm going to go back with the M433 and a little bit of that crescent so that we can go ahead and marry the edges a little bit better. Sorry. I grabbed a little bit of my hair, but we're just going to marry those two colors a little bit. Try not to bring it too much inside. We're just marrying, meaning we're blending them together so that that way it's not going to be a harsh line. My camera cut me off. That was so rude. I don't even know where I left off, but I did my face makeup so we can finish the eyes. I did not end up doing any eyeliner because I don't know if I recorded or not, but I was trying to do like some eyeshadow eyeliner using this clear called Gravity, but it was too purple and I didn't like that because, you know, we have the brown reddish going on. Um, do you see how like nice and like shimmery the eyes are? It looks really freaking good, right? But now let's go ahead and add a little bit of highlight on the inner part of the eye so i'm gonna use this one here called the breathe so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my fingers though because i notice that some of these shimmery shades it just doesn't pop off when i use an actual brush so i'm gonna use my pinky and here i have it in my pinky and i'm gonna dab that literally on the inner corner of the eye oh do you see that shine bright like a diamond that actually looks really, really nice. So now we're going to go ahead and use this brush here, which is a little flat little brush. This is the JH43. I grabbed the color Bummy, which is the dark shade that we've been smoking out. But I'm going to apply this on my... I need to look up. I'm sorry, but I have a mirror and I'm like trying to focus here. But apply it on your lash line, your lower lash line. And we're going to smoke this out. Some people like to do this, some people don't. Some people like to do it very extra underneath the eyes to smoke it out. It is completely up to your preference. You can bring it all the way into the inner part of the eye or you can stop halfway, whatever works for you. But I personally do like it because then I feel like it just kind of puts everything together. It connects it, everything looks nice and smoky. Especially because I always end up putting a like new tone eyeliner pencil on the inner part of my waterline and I that came what that mm, I just vomited what I meant to say is I put a nude pencil eyeliner on my waterline that's all I was trying to say this is realness right here this is realness right here but I'm just gonna keep applying until I like the way that it looks but don't put too much pressure because we're gonna blend it out right now with this JH40 brush it doesn't have any color I'm just gonna go ahead and Blend out that line just so that it's nice and diffused before applying a transition shade as well. I grabbed a little bit of deep space, which is the same transition shade that we use for the top part of the eye. And I'm applying that very lightly on the lower lash line. Here is a close up of what this makeup looks like right now. Slay. Ooh, literally. Santa, baby, why don't you come and slay my way for me? I know I've been a good girl, Santa. Okay, I can't sing, though. But 
this is what it looks like. This is what the makeup looks like now that we're kind of far away from each other and I am definitely digging every single bit of it. I feel like it looks really, really good with this red um, dress. I actually got this from Forever 21. It's like velvety. Got some situation going here, but y'all can't really see it right now and that's okay, okay? But I, I really like it. You can switch up this look using a different lip combo. It can be darker. It can be a little bit lighter. I feel like if I would have done red lips, it would have been a little too much because this dress itself is pretty freaking bright so yeah let me know will you be trying out this look on your holiday season at your holiday party let me know down below in the description box everything that i'm wearing on my face today my lip combo everything will be down in the description box for you so i hope you guys like this tutorial if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that bell button to get notified when i upload new videos you're more than welcome to follow me on instagram snapchat and tiktok i posted your previous when I'm filming and all that goody good stuff. I hope you're having a peaceful and a wonderful holiday season and I will see you on my next video. Bye!